doesn't seem right to do a TV video without that music. I we don't have that. Okay, one, two, three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. Two, Are you absolutely sure that camera's recording? You didn't do mash play when you went to mash record, did you? F*** it. It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, if, if there are people who, like, haven't come here to see this, screw up. <laughs> right. Wow, turn on the audience immediately, I like it. Because <laughs> you guys are brilliant, you are here, you are watching this, that's awesome. Woo! Yeah! Yay. I can't believe it. Oh, it's gonna be. Okay. Who the hell are you? My name is uh, Theo Adams, and I do a thing on YouTube, which is where I talk about robots and that. Yay. 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 Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay, should we do the stupid questions? Uh, if you insist. Okay. You know what a Decepticon? Uh, recently I'm feeling more like an Autobot than I thought I was. Does that mean anything? It's called a sentence. Autobotic existential oh. crisis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many points of articulation you got? <laughs> just the two. Just, just the elbows. 88 style. <laughs> okay. And what accessories do you come with? Uh, I come with a rocket punch and a rad attitude. <laughs> hey! Hey, wait, wait. Okay, do you want joint rounding styles? Autumn missiles. Okay. <laughs> Right, so we will be digging out as many theorisms as we can squeeze in. I can't remember any of them. Okay, well, well we are here interviewing... Interview? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, what the hell are you doing at Auto Assembly? Uh, I... came. <laughs> TMI! Oh, oh. <laughs> No, I thought, um, you know, I've, I've been meaning to do it for years, and I just never got around to it, so I thought I'd better, better do it seeing as it's the last one. You know, it's a, quite an experience. Everybody's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, toys are pretty expensive, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they, uh, they are the lifeblood. <laughs> what a twatty thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I promise I won't edit that out. Oh, good. Cool. Um, so... Toys at all? You know, we, we, we're grown adults apparently. What the hell are we doing collecting toys? I'm asking me for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I personally, um, you know, I liked them as a kid, and as I'm sure we all did, and uh, I just sort of started doing it again when I realised that they were good again. Like, you know, Armada and everything was like a total turn off. And um, like, com coming back to that retrospectively, obviously, it, it, like, you can appreciate it for how naff it is. But like when it got good again with like alternators and classics and that, I thought, well, I don't care if anyone's going to judge me now because I'm a grown ass man, and um, <laughs> and then you know it's been eight years and <laughs> it's not slowing down. So a lot of people here. I know. A lot. Of people, <laughs> a lot of people here buy toys. A few of. How many people actually do like YouTube stuff here? Yeah. Okay. I did comment. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> I contribute more to his, to be honest. I stalked him too. So, what made you like pick up a camera, point at a toy, and think people want to hear your opinions? I don't. I don't deign to believe for a second that anyone cares what I think about toys. <laughs> but um, I, I mostly just wanted to make some videos because I, I did. Uh, like that's sort of what I do for a living um, in marketing and that, I make corporate videos and things. But before any of that happened, um, I did like uh, a media course when I was sort of 18, 19, and then just didn't do any videos for like four or five years. And I really missed um, editing mostly, um, because that, that for me is the most fun bit. And I thought I need to do something so that I can then do some editing. And as it happened, I just, I just got into like classic, classics Astro Train and a um, couple of alternators and whatnot. So I thought I can, I suppose I could do some of me talking as a filler point between funny stuff that I can do with these toys. And uh, that's kind of never gone away. That's how, that's, how, uh, that's how I get down. Cool. So what did you start with? What was your first toy that you ever used? Oh, God, it was terrible. Um, 
the first few sort of reviews I did, they were all sort of, I wanted to make sort of like a, like a sketch show almost, but like also with kind of a bit of Top Gear and whatnot sort of mixed in, because uh, I, I enjoy the sort of structure of those shows and sort of the, um, the way that they go from one product to the next and so forth and just sort of maybe cut in a little tiny bit of one here and there and then cut away from it completely and never come back to it. So I, I thought, like, there are toys that I like, I could do a minute and a half on them, and then do 10 seconds on MicroMaster. Like, I look back at the first one now, and I, I, could, I could see what I was going for, but it was pretty rough around the edges. And like, two, three, and four, I mean, the second one is just the worst. <laughs> oh, God. But four was sort of where it was, where it started to come into its own and become what I wanted it to be, almost. God, I sound pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so of all the stuff that you have reviewed, because mm -hmm. it's like, what, you want 200? You wish. 155 is the next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not that I keep track. So what's been like your favorite thing to review? Um, recently, I think the, the one I had the most fun reviewing was the, the Geiger Power, um, the Stegosaurus, the Gutur. Gutur. Because it's like so ridiculously overdone of what it is. It's just, um, and it was something completely out of the blue as well, because they, they sort of approached me about it. They're like, do you want to do a Dynabot? <laughs> so, you know, this, well, the, the third party thing, I find it very difficult to keep track of who's doing what, and I find it like exhausting, um, and also quite sort of tiresome, because everyone's doing Dynabots, everyone's doing Insecticons. So I wouldn't have got into that off, off my own back. So to have them approach me about it, and be like, here's this thing, and I'm like, Whoa. and it's amazing, uh, and it's just so huge and stupid, and like that's one of the because I find it difficult to watch back things I've done, because um, like th maybe this joke didn't land, or I missed a bit, or whatever. But that one, I think, that came out the best, and I had a really good time doing it. And he looks banging on the shelf. <laughs> so, uh, of recent times, Gutura gets the crown. So is there anything that you've like really thought? I don't really want this on my shelf, but I should probably do a video of it. Or do you just do sort of like stuff? Yeah, I mean, there are things where, there are times when you think, well, th this toy's coming out and it's hot and new and it looks great, but I'm not really interested, but I should probably do it because it will get a couple of thousand hits. And like, they always come out bad, those videos. Like uh, the Skids um, IDW figure from the, a couple of years ago. Like, I, I really, I kind of like the figure. And I thought, well, yeah, it's, people like that one, people want to hear about that. So I did it, and um, they always come out a little bit lackluster, I find. If, if you're doing it just for the views, they don't sort of have the same sort of spark or the same magic to them, I find. Generation Scoop. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like that. He does look like that. Your day job is now videos. Yes, it is. And you're doing this as a hobby as well? Yeah, yeah, and that's probably, I'm sure you've noticed I barely do anything these days, because um, I'm, I'm doing videos at work, and like I use the same sort of setup and the same editing software and whatnot to do to do everything. So to be doing eight hours of that and then come home and be like, oh God, do I have to? You know, to do it again, jeez. But that's the only sort of negative thing about it, is that I get a bit sort of, what's the word, sort of oversaturated on it. But apart from that, I've, I've, I feel like I've learned a lot from it, um, from doing it sort of professionally, to a degree. Um. <laughs> so obviously you're running these things a little bit more professionally than most of us. I mean, you know, I talk bollocks for half now and cut it down to five minutes. Yeah. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> so, I do. As you can see, on that link there. <laughs> oh, you're doing the like, yeah. thing. Right, okay. okay. <laughs> um, see a gem. So, what is your process from picking up a toy and going, oh, I'm going to review this, to hit and publish? Oh, God, it takes a really long time, <laughs> honestly, because I'm. A, I can't really wing it. I can't really do it live. I always. Everything. I'm sorry to destroy the magic, but everything I do is completely scripted. Um, like you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can tell because it's good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the toy in hand, and uh, I'll usually decide sort of in the first half an hour if I'm going to do a review on it. Um, and then, like, you'll sort of make a make a decision on the things you want to say about it. Like, like you, you've got your gimmicks and your articulation, how it looks, 
and how it transforms in the old mode and what it means in the marketplace and where its place is in your collection and so forth. Uh, and then you sort of just write that down, get the, get the bare bones of it down, and then just agonize over it for a fortnight, <laughs> just <laughs> chucking in jokes, going, they like painting and all this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it's normally at, like, a, a, at least, at the very least, sort of four days from the beginning to actually sitting down and shooting. And then you've got to, you know, you've got to decide what t-shirt to wear, you've got to find your glasses, you've got to get a Red Bull down you, and then you've got to, it's like a performance, I suppose, because it's completely scripted, you've got to, you've got to then act that out. Um, so that can take anywhere up to sort of five to six hours, honestly, because I'm like really clumsy with the way I speak, I'm desperately nowhere near as articulate as I edit myself to be. Um, <laughs> So I, I, I have to cut it down. It's, there's normally at least an hour and a half of you know, like actual footage, which then needs to come right down into three and a half minutes. And once you're happy with that, let it render, let it upload. I, I normally just leave it overnight to upload, because they take forever anyway. And then you just you put it unlisted for a bit, and you put your annotations on, and then you go publish. And then you do, um, you get the link, and you put it on Twitter and Facebook, and then, um, you wait for everyone to tell you how much of a useless prick you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't actually get a lot of negative comments. Um, no, honestly, I don't. What's that? We're not talking about Fortune. <laughs> no, <'cause>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well no, I'm very little of it, honestly. I mean, but overwhelmingly, the response is always very positive. Um, and that's the way I do it. I mean, you know. It's constant, instant validation is brilliant. I love it. Okay, and um, th then once a year or so, you do something a little bit special. What could you mean? <laughs> um, well, take the take kind of toys that I can afford and take a bit to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those were like your most popular videos. By a long ass way, yeah. So, so I should probably do more of them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But no, I'm always sort of building up, because um, I like to make each one bigger and better. But uh, the last one I think was so heavy, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to top that honestly. So unsubscribe immediately if you like. <laughs> but um, no, I'm, I'm always sort of building up background radiation of knockoffs, sort of coming in little packages and whatnot from Sir Toys. This guy works at Sir Toys. Um, ben from Ben's Collectibles, yeah. he was here a bit ago. Is he, is he in the room? I'm here. Yay! Yeah, it's Ben! <laughs> But um, yeah, he, he sent me a big ass box of a uh, horrible, horrible shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, <That's a> toys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a different kind of video. Whole different section of Craigslist. <laughs> but now I've got um, like, the, the, you know the uh, was it the Beast Hunters Trail Cutter? Is it? You know the, the yeah. little guy who's all spiky, like like Ironhide, and he's been like blown up to sort of that big. And he's in like burgundy, and he's just <laughs> gross. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I love like how stupid some of those things are. Um, so it, it, it's not all about like oh, look at this piece of garbage. <laughs> you gotta appreciate the daft ones when they come in because they're so precious and so weird and so creative that um, it would be completely churlish and unfair to be actually just breaking everything, <laughs> right? I got this today. It's the. Uh... Oh, no! Sorry. Review preview. Yes. <laughs> preview. preview. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that one. Damn. But yeah, it's the old. Uh, it's the ruinations, but it's. Uh, ruination. Ruin. Yeah, he's, he's going to get a ruination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but some of the names like the 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 the, uh, the blast off is called secondary brain. <laughs> so terrible. The uh, the combined form. Oh. Um, Tugging gun. <laughs> <laughs> Where else are you going to get that? Hasbro's not going to get you that. I mean, God bless them, you know. But also, sense of humor about it, please. A bit, a bit of a bit of daftness. And this, I think these one, I think I did these very ones in Beatdown 2, actually. Got them from the pound shop. But uh, this, this is proper. And also, I was talking to somebody about this, like, you can just keep the weapons because I haven't got the weapon for my brawl or um, or my swindle, so you can just you just rob them off there. And this this was twenty no fifteen pounds.
which is you'd pay that for a gun sometimes, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, he'll probably be in the next one. And uh, also, Carl gave me one that turns into the number nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apart from the knockoffs, is there anything that you've sort of seen on the horizon that's making you sort of rub your hands together and go, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that? Um, well, I just got the Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. He's a, an absolute barb. Uh, and I'd, I'd love to get a Devastator if I can... Uh, I can get my hands on one. I'm sure there's a few around, right? Yeah. 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 Just, just one or two. There's one in the yeah. audience. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Devastator? <laughs> but yeah, um, obviously, uh, Devastator Ultra Magnus. Um, and some other stuff. And some other stuff. Cool. <laughs> okay, so right, let, let's do the. Um, Opening it up to questions. Oh God, be gentle. <laughs> 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 Not that gentle. Has anyone got a question? Yo. Right. Uh, what's your favourite version of Skywalk you own? Ooh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think it's an ambitious monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's a great question. I should really like the uh, the generations one, the uh, the Cybertron version. But, but the uh, the one that was, uh, you know, yeah, I the, know. the, the, the Cybertron Generations one. Yeah, I yeah. think he's beautiful. He's just probably the best sort of overall bot mode out of the ones that I can think of at the moment. Um, <laughs> the leader class. Oh, mate. Yeah, the Combiner Wars leader class one. That looks good. Very, uh... The first two Seekers are already out, so he should be out soon. Oh, yeah. I was, I'm surprised there's not here. I thought there might, there might be a chance of a... Uh, Picking up a, a cheeky, uh, cheeky preview one, but uh, there's no round. Nice but, one, yeah. Cracker. Who? <laughs> <laughs> and also the alternative one's nice too. Next question, at the back. Yeah, where do you get the awesome theme tune from? Oh, that's one of my old songs from my band. Um, band? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is a long time ago. I, I sort of, I, I generally, I, I like doing bands because I play the drums and that, but. I tend to find I can't hack it for more than sort of 18 months at a time. <laughs> so I've been through about 15 bands. Uh, but that was a band I did with my brother, just a two piece, him on guitar, me on drums, both of us yelling. Um, <laughs> it was called, uh, the band was called Mouth, and the song is called Lord Money. Next question. Earlier on, you mentioned your job is editing, your hobby is editing. Yeah. Do you foresee a day where it's kind of like, my job is ruining my hobby? Oh, all the time, yeah. It's like, if I did work, it's like, I'm not editing today. Every day of my life, yeah. <laughs> That's why I do so little. Thanks for asking. Twist <laughs> <laughs> in the dagger. Okay, I, I do kind of have to ask, have you ever done something in your YouTube videos and got it right, but that's how I should be doing it as a day job? <laughs> <laughs> I'd never get away with it, with any of the stuff I do on YouTube for work because it, it's like um, with the with the YouTube stuff it's always maximum velocity full death attack but at work I'd make videos about industrial lanes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a question over on that side. Yeah. yeah. Um, what has been the funniest piece of broken English you've seen on um, knock-off packages? <laughs> oh boy, I don't think it's going to get any better than um, <laughs> that thing that I can't remember. Uh, there, there was one example I found, which um, I, I found it in a um, when I was in Cyprus. It was a knock-off. Um, it was an overscaled um, Legends of Ironhide, and it said. Hot destruction. Let's save the earth together. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was perfect. I, I quite like. Um, what was it? Emergency. <laughs> Firefighter. Firefighter. <laughs> oh, and that. Um, you know that Fortress Maximus, the little, the little tiny one, the looks yeah, one. Yeah. His name's Huge Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> So that's pretty good, right? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go with Huge Extremely. <laughs> Which I believe is what your mum said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got a question at the back there. A uh, while ago you got a Maximus figure. I don't remember if it was a Grand Maximus or a Fortnite. Yes, I did, didn't I? Are you I? going to review that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm going to have to. I really want to. But um, I, don't, I, I want it to be like, Number 200! Or something like that, so it'll probably be like 2028. 
the guy in the Punisher shirt. Hey! Hey, um, what, what got you started into the whole video making process? Um, I wanted to do some videos. Um, <laughs> and what, what actually happened was, did, did we, did I cover we, this? We kind of did. Um, but, okay, let's, let's do it again for the, for Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, basically, I um, how it started was I wanted to do it, and um, I guess my computer it turned out it had some editing software on it. Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a thing. I thought you had to always pay five hundred million bucks to get uh, any software like that. But like the basic version, it could do some of the things I wanted to. So I thought I thought okay, we'll do that. And I bought a uh, a Netgear. No, it was a smart webcam. <laughs> and uh, popped it on the desk, and then uh, just started talking to it. But because it was so low down on the desk, everyone thinks I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what. So what setup you use for your videos now? Uh, at the moment, I use, if I can show you my little maid here. It's a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the camera that I use to make most of my videos, if you can believe it. It's a Canon. PowerShot SX220HS, and I put that on a tripod, and I plug it into a telly, and I point the telly at me so I can see what's happening, and uh, then I blather at it for like nine hours. It's weird just talking to yourself. Yes, it's really weird. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't happen. You've got to do it, right? Okay, this guy here has got had his hand up for ages, so in the green jacket. Um, what's the worst toy you've got? The worst. Are we including knockoffs? No. I know. Well, I do have a Beast Machine Silver Bolt, so that kind of takes it by default. But I've also got um, Optimus Miner. <laughs> Ready to pull an RC. I haven't got her anymore. <laughs> put her in the bin? I didn't put her in the bin. So, uh, no, but she was terrible. Jesus. Did you just remember that one? The pink motorbike? Yeah. yeah. I actually put mine in the bin. Good on you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was dreadful. But um, my personal least favourite toy... <laughs> Let's go with Silverbot again. <laughs> is, yeah, he's terrible. No redeeming features. And also... Uh, but he was free, thanks Carl. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Oh god, oh, Universe god. Ironhide. You almost managed to sort Still of push smart, that out maybe. of your memories. But... It was repressed because it was that traumatic. It's true, it was, yeah, it gave Animated me a... Animated Starscream. Yeah. Which Starscream? Talk about that Animated Starscream. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <coughs> I've got Skywalk though, he's alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's the best gift you've ever received? Uh, your man mentioned I got a Fortress Maximus. Which is completely <laughs> Right? I think you're one. Someone else gave me a Metroplex too. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is going the back end of a bunch of your videos. Yeah, I know. Just, just standing there looming over you. My life is so you. weird. <laughs> it really is, man. I, I talk at a thing, and then people give me stuff, and then I get invited to this. How weird is that? <laughs> it's not normal, dude. Grown-ups <laughs> don't do this. Yeah, very normal, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of not normal, let's have two more questions from the audience, and then you can your go Your man with the bandana's had his hand up yeah. well. Um, what was the decision and thought making process that went into losing your beautiful hair? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it just got gross. <laughs> like, it was starting to recede a little bit, and it was always just ratty and disgusting. And also I started cycling as well, so it didn't help. I, was, I always came home completely filthy, with just this ratty, gross mop on my head. And one day I was like... <laughs> And I felt very little about it, apart from loads better, honestly. I do miss it. I can't windmill anymore, which is tragic. <laughs> but um, only very occasionally do I miss it, and more, more often than not, I look really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one last question is make it a good one. You pick. Um, this guy. Uh, first off, thanks earlier for signing my fiance's blur, f blur figure before the uh, panel started. And uh, second, second as well, what was it, um, if you can remember, that got you into Transformers in the very first place? In the very first place? Yeah. When I was three. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Well, as a discerning consumer, um, I, th I was like, <laughs> 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 There's been most of us in the dealer's room, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first thing? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I think it was drag strip. Um, G1 drag strip. And he's still my fave. <laughs> Among all the other faves, obviously. Does <laughs> not count? Not really. Um, I had a sharing with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did have a sea spray, but then I got a drab strip. Drag, drab, drab strip. <laughs> you actually had that spelling mistake on the Smith's Toy Superstore website. Drab strip. Yes! <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> well, I think we should all just get a huge round of applause for you. No one can hear what I'm saying, it's fine. Yeah. So, so, so now just you can run and see what the fuck they're doing at IDW, we don't care anymore. Yeah, quick, we're gonna miss it! <laughs>